Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. And so today I am doing a collective haul of a couple of beauty but a lot of fashion accessory items that I picked up um, these past couple of months. Um, so I've been basically gearing up for winter. I'm really excited about winter getting here because that's when I get to wear all my gorgeous coats and wonderful sweaters and things like that and so I've been picking up more so um, accessories to complement um, the clothes that I already have. I haven't really bought a lot of clothes because one I'm still trying to lose a little bit of weight and you know how that is and I'm more so trying to be smarter with my money and pick up items that can accentuate and enhance the things that I already own instead of having to buy like all new wardrobes and stuff like that. So I'm going to share with you guys everything that I got so let's jump right in it. So let's start off with the thing that's absolutely noticeable. My hair is a completely different color. Um, I've gone from blonde to purple to red. Now I am black. And the reason why I'm black now is because um, people who have gone like a drastic color like purple know that they have to bleach their hair and then put the color on top. Well, when you bleach your hair, your hair is porous and so it will accept the color but it won't um, stay on as well. So the color fades a lot. And so I was having trouble with no matter what color it was, even the red, it was just fading a lot and I was kind of tired of it. And so I did some research and I found that um, this thing called a color filler, which is this right here. I found this product called a color filler. And basically what this does is it puts the, uh, it primes your hair and it fills your hair's porous ends so that it will take up the color. And so this is just something that I found at Sally's. It's a protein color filler in a warm brown. And so I picked up some hair color. I forget what it was, but it had like a lot of, um, amla oil in it. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, so the color was a natural black and I thought my hair would kind of be like a blackish brown. Um, but it turned out to be like a super, super black. And I think that's due to the color filler here. But I absolutely love it. Um, I've washed it since I've colored it and I have not seen any fading yet. So I'm crossing my fingers that that color filler from Sally's worked. And now what I'm washing my hair with now, so I kind of changed over. What I'm washing my hair with now is Biolage. Um, this Biolage Color Last Shampoo. And I'm also using the Biolage Mask. And I'm also using the Biolage Color Last Conditioner. Um, with these products, what I've seen after my first wash with, you know, just with the black hair color is that I don't have a lot of leaching of the hair color from my hair. Now, I don't know if I own, if it's just because of the color filler or it's because this has that color, um, last technology. Um, and what I love about and this what product. What I really love about this product is the fact that it smells absolutely amazing. I mean, it's orchid, so, I mean, of course because of that, but, I mean, it just smells so good, and it's a shampoo with a low pH, so it purifies your hair and also keeps it clean. Now, the only thing about this shampoo is that it does have sodium lauryl sulfate in it, so if you aren't particularly a fan of that, um, I wouldn't recommend this shampoo, and I know a lot of people say that's what causes your hair color to um, leach out using um, sodium lauryl sulfate, but no matter what shampoo I use, even ones that did not have it in there, like my hair color would still fade. So I'm trying this out because it does have a color last technology and I will keep this up and I will get back to you guys on how it is. And I mentioned before, here's a mask also for color treated hair. I got these products from Ulta when they had like the 20% off coupon and that's how it looks on the inside. Um, so I got them for a great deal and I got a big bottle of the shampoo and a big bottle of the mask because I use the mask as a conditioner also. So those are basically all the beauty products that I picked up um, besides all the stuff that I've already shown you guys from Makeup Forever. So let's move on to the fashion. All right, so I was in need of a pair of black heels. I had some black heels, but I needed um, another pair um, because the ones that I had were getting a bit old. And you know how you always have like your favorite black heels that you wear with absolutely everything. And so, I purchased these Steven by Steve Madden New Buck Heels um, from ShopBop.com. I was able to get them um, at a pretty good deal. They're actually on Macy's also right now with an additional 25% off. So I think if you get them on Macy's, they're like 106 or something like that. But these are them. Um, they have like a three and a half inch heel. They're a New Buck leather. Um, so it's, it's kind of a suede leather. 
um, and that's that's basically it um, they have a very cute buckle that goes across your ankle here um, and the thing about these is that with Steve Madden Steve Madden always runs a bit small on my foot so I went up to I usually wear a nine I went up to a nine and a half and these fit perfectly they didn't hurt my ankle or anything at all because I've been having ankle problems since I fell while running um, but so yeah so I purchased these and I can't wait to start wearing these um, because with these you can dress them up you can dress them down with a pair of jeans, you know, and a cute button up and a nice bag, you know. So I picked up these because I was looking for another pair of black heels. Okay, and also from Shopbop, I picked up some Mark by Mark Jacobs sunglasses. Um, I had been kind of eyeing these sunglasses. I wanted some glasses that had the bigger um, glam eyes, so I picked up these. They have a, uh, let me see if you guys can see it this way. So if you see the side, it's kind of like a chain link side, um, and it has the gold Mark Jacobs emblem on the side, and I'll put them on so you guys can see how they look. But I love these. I love that they're this like fab glam look. So I got these on Shopbop also. But those are the sunglasses that I also got from Shop Shop. The next thing that I got, and I got with glasses, sunglasses crazy uh, these past couple, well, these couple of months. And so uh, the next sunglasses that I got, so my husband and I, uh, he wanted to go to the outlet yesterday because he was looking for some stuff to, some more stuff to wear to work. Um, and since he's kind of, you know, taller and bigger, you know, that football player build, it's hard for him to find stuff in like mainstream stores, but he can always find some stuff at the store at the outlet. Um, Van Heusen and I think it's called Hagger. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, um, so while he was doing his thing, I was kind of like walking around the outlet stores and I went into the Sunglass Hut outlet um, and I was looking for a particular pair of glasses that I did find, I'm gonna show you guys. But while I was there, they were having a sale. It was buy one, get one free. Um, and so basically the sunglasses came to 50% off each. And so I decided to pick up, well, my husband helped help me also pick out these two pair of sunglasses. And so the first one are these Ralph Lauren's. Um, and it's again, sticking with the whole glam, big eye style but they are tortoise shell um, across the top and they have the gold on the um, earpiece and they have Ralph Lauren or Ralph written on the side here. And I'm just gonna put these on so you guys can see how these looked. I absolutely love these. They look kind of just like the Marc Jacobs. The Marc Jacobs are a bit cheaper. The Marc Jacobs retailed for $98. Like I said, I think these were $60 when you did the buy one get one half off. But I absolutely love these because again, they are the big glam, can't see your eyebrows glasses that I love. So the next glasses that I purchased were from Coach. So here's the case, some, some glasses from Coach. They were part of the buy one get one and they come within a cute little pouch like this inside the case. And I love these glasses because these are a different kind from the ones that I've been showing you guys. These kind of are the cat eye kind of glam glasses. They're still kind of big, but they do the cat eye on the side. They have a clear um, earpiece here and a clear earpiece there. And I love that they have the purple, um, the purple frame. So these are some basic just purple and clear coach glasses that I got from the Sunglass Hut. And as I said before, they were buy one, get one, and it was like a really great deal. So the glasses that I'm super duper, super excited about are the glasses that I actually went in there looking for. Um, I, these glasses are, they came out a long time ago, but they're still, still very popular. You really don't find them on sale anywhere. Um, so I'm just gonna pull these out so you guys can see. Who they are and so I picked up a pair of the Prada Baroque sunglasses um, these glasses usually retail for $300 I was able to snag them for only 200 and I'm going to tell you guys why um, 
So in the Sunglass Hut, they have an area where they have glasses that are slightly imperfect, meaning there is something wrong with them. Like it might be just a very minute, itty bitty, tiny little scratch that nobody is going to notice or it could be like something like huge um, and they mark it down appropriately. Um, but, whoops. But, um, so these glasses were sitting there and they were in the imperfect area and I was like oh my god I've been wanting these what's wrong with them and so basically you guys won't be able to tell us by looking at this and I honestly can't tell when I'm actually looking at the glasses so but there is a very tiny itty bitty minute scratch like it's so tiny that it's really it really shouldn't even have been in the imperfect area anyway scratch on there and so I was able to pick these up for t only two hundred dollars and I'm super excited about this purchase, like super, 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 super excited because I've been wanting these for a very, very long time. They're the kind of the same style as in the Ralph Lauren or as the Ralph Lauren and the Marc Jacob glasses. But I think these are going to be my absolute favorite ones to wear. And I always like to keep a lot of variety when it comes to my sunglasses. Just have some different things so I can switch them up, change it, you know, depending on what you're wearing. So I was able to get these and I'm excited. So I'm going to stick these back in here. Oh, and the Prada sunglasses, they come in this nice little case. It's very different from the other cases. Um, it comes in a case like this where you just pull it open and you just stick glasses down on the inside. All right, so moving on, I'm going to share with you guys some more things that I picked up. Um, so I also got a pair of Kate Spade earrings. These are the earrings here. They have just the little... Um, you know, they're just the little bow ties, and I picked these up from the Kate Spade outlet. They were 40% off plus an additional 15% off when I showed my student discount. So I was able to get a really, really good deal on these. Um, and I like to get like little stuff like that because sometimes you don't always want to wear like big dangly earrings. Also, especially when you're doing something professional like presenting a poster or just giving a talk or something like that, that's, which I do a lot um, in my um, science career. So I wanted something that would be kind of small. And then the next earrings that I picked up were these smoking hot earrings that are by Kate Spade also. So these were 40% off plus an additional 15% off of my student discount also. thought these were super cute. Um, just something to kind of have in the ear um, and wear them with like maybe some bigger earrings. But since I have three holes in my ears, I can just stick them in the top top ones and just wear these. But these are the smoking hot earrings, smoke smoking hot earrings from Kate Spade. Alrighty, let's see. So now let's move on to... So now let's move on to the handbags. So I think if you guys watch my uh, summer spring handbag haul video, you guys know that when I get a handbag in, another handbag must go. So I am selling a lot of my older handbags or handbags that I'm no longer using on Poshmark. Um, so if you guys want to check me out, my name on there is Melody Cool. One, I believe, I'll put that information in the down bar, um, in the comment area, or in the information area, whatever area that is down there. I'll put it all down there because I have sold three bags already and I still have um, a couple of more, actually three or four more that are listed. So if you guys want to check that out. But anyways, back to the thing. So handbags come in, handbags must go. And so basically I brought in, I purchased four handbags for the winter, fall season. And it's where four bad handbags have gone. So going to start off with the one that I got from the outlet yesterday. So the one that I got from the outlet yesterday is the Kate Spade um, Kellen Hudson Street Macchiato handbag. And I got this bag because it reminds me of the Celine bag with the robot face. And this is the bag here. And I'm just going to turn it. Actually, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see. So this is the bag here and I'm just going to turn it around so you guys can see. Um, they had this bag also in black and they, I had it also in leopard print but I love this style here or this color here because it's versatile and it can go with absolutely everything. Um, inside the bag, if I hold it up this way you'll see that the bag is secure with a hook close that is here and when you unhook the bag, basically you have Two, two, two areas on the inside. You have this area here that also has a, yep, 
You have this area here that also has a zip close pocket. You have the zip close pocket in the middle and if you turn it over here, you have um, two other pockets here that you can have stuff. So this is basically a great work bag. You can hold your iPad, it looks like. You can have your different compartments for all your work stuff, such as your, like maybe your, your planner, your phone, your pens, and then you have another area that you can put your personal items like tissue, lip gloss, makeup bag, stuff like that. Keep things separated. Um, this is a pretty good sized bag, and it looks like it will fit an iPad Air, though I haven't checked it. Actually, let me check it right now. Let's see if it'll fit an iPad Air. Okay, so the middle section won't fit an iPad Air, but if you put it on the other side, it will fit an iPad Air. Um, and I got this uh, iPad Air uh, Kate Spade case from um, the Kate Spade outlet also. Um, so, yep, I was able to get this bag. Um, it retails for $395. They were having a sale at Kate Spade um, outlet. It was 40% off all handbags with an additional 20% off of that. And then, of course, with my student discount, I got an additional 15% off of that. So if you do the math, you guys know that I got an awesome deal on this bag. And I can't wait to wear it um, this winter. Okay, so moving past that, another bag that I picked up. I picked this bag up actually um, back in like maybe early June, late May, I believe. Um, and I picked up this bag because I, it was on sale, surprisingly. And this particular one never goes on sale. And I saw it on sale, and so I went ahead and quickly grabbed it. I think it might have been a glitch on Nordstrom's. I'm not even sure. Because the next day when I went to go check, because I was telling a friend, it was back full price. Not even sure. But it is a Kate, uh, Kate Spade. It is a Michael Kors Hamilton tote bag um, that I picked up. And this is um, in the color of black, as you can see here. And you guys, I'm pretty sure there's tons of reviews on the Michael Kors Hamilton bag. So I'm not going to do one. But I was able to pick this up. Um, and like I said, this color never, ever, ever goes on sale. But I went ahead and grabbed it because I knew it would be an awesome bag to wear for winter. Okay, so the next bag that I picked up for winter. Um, this is also another Michael Kors um, Hamilton bag. And I just got this bag in the mail last week. Um, it is a Hamilton Center Stripe um, North-South tote. And this is it right here. What I love about this is that it has the um, leopard print or the cow print, whatever print this is, calf hair in the center. Um, and then it, it is a beautiful black and white color block also. Um, like I said, I just got this bag in the mail um, last week and so I haven't used it. I haven't opened it. But I did want to show you guys um, this bag. And it is the the silver Michael Kors emblem instead of the gold. Um, I got this bag from Macy's during their, uh, you know, Macy's is always having a sale. They're having a like just because it's a Monday sale. But I got this bag from Macy's on sale. Um, it was $3.55 and then with the discount it came down to $267. And this bag is originally priced at $448. So I got a really great deal in this bag. As you guys can see, I try not to pay full price for anything, like anything at all because I just don't believe in it. Um, but, yep, so here it is, the Michael Kors Center Stripe um, Hamilton North South Tote. And I can't wait to wear this bag either because I think it's, isn't it gorgeous? It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the last bag that I got, and it is in use right now, so there's tons of stuff in there. But I was looking for a bag that I could wear to work that would also fit my 15-inch MacBook Pro. This has been a dilemma that I've been running into everywhere because the, um, because a lot of the Michael Kors Jet Set totes, they claim to carry to be able to hold a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Some of them do, some of them don't. Um, Tory Burch also has a York tote that can handle a 15 inch MacBook Pro, but it does not snap close. And that was an issue also. So those bags retail for $2.95. And so I was searching for another bag on Shopbop and I came across this Montserrat De Luca handbag. And this is it here. This is the Montserrat De Luca. Um, 
it can hold a 15 inch laptop. And what's great about this bag is that I think it retails for $2.95 also just like all the other ones. But what's different about this bag is that it actually has a laptop sleeve on the inside that's detachable. And so if you take it out, this is the laptop sleeve here. Um, and there's not, a, there's not a computer in here of course. But you stick your laptop in here and you buckle it back in and it's good to go. So I was just at a size for conference. Um, this past week and I had my laptop in there the entire time. The bag does not get heavy. It does not fall over. It's just, this is a great bag. So they have this bag in black and dark brown also, but I picked up this in this red. One, because I love red and two, because I don't pay full price. This was on sale for $172 and so I went ahead and picked this bag up. Um, this bag looks like it has a lot of stuff in it because it absolutely does. Um, on the inside of the bag, actually, you know what, I'll just do a separate review for you guys later, but I just wanted to show with you guys that this is basically another bag that I picked up. Um, I really can see this bag being my absolute everyday bag because it can hold my laptop and basically that's all I take to school is kind of like my laptop, my iPad, maybe a magazine, some writing utensils and like makeup stuff. Like that's basically it because everything else is like in the lab where I work um, and you can't bring too much stuff into the lab so so yeah um I think that was it I think that's everything that I've purchased so far um for fall love my handbags I love my sunglasses I'm not gonna probably be buying any more of those for the rest of the seasons um until spring summer come back unless there's a handbag that I absolutely have to have let's see what else Oh, um, like I said before, handbags in, handbags out. So if you guys are interested in shopping my handbag sale, make sure you check out my Poshmark um, site and I'll leave that information below. Um, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and ask them. Thank you guys for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.